Today I'm going to show you how to make your own popcorn at home. You're probably very familiar with the microwave variety, but this is much healthier and really easy to do. So you're going to start with heating your pot up. I've had this on for about 30 seconds already. You just want the, all the enamel to get heated through and to start that process before you put in the kernels. So we should be ready now. So we're going to start out with our oil. I'm just using plain vegetable oil. Canola, canola oil would also work. Coconut oil would also work. You want one of those three oils because otherwise if you use olive oil or butter, they have a very low smoke point, which means they have a much lower temperature at which they burn. And that creates a bitter flavor, a burnt flavor, and um, creates toxic compounds. So, no, canola oil. Good choice. Okay, so basically you're going to need a couple tablespoons of oil. And basically you just want to do it a couple times around the bottom of the pan to coat the entire bottom. So now we move it around just to coat the entire bottom. Now these raw popcorn kernels you can get at your health food store. You can get them at the regular grocery store I believe. I got mine at Whole Foods. These are organic but any variety works. So the plain old popcorn kernels. You're going to want one half cup of the regular uncooked kernels. That's approximately um, 120 grams. So about a half a cup goes into the hot oil. You want them evenly distributed along the bottom of the pan. And because it's already hot, we kind of hear them already starting to sizzle. You're going to want to put your lid on and let them cook. The whole process is going to take about five to seven minutes. I'll come back when they've started to pop. Okay, our popcorn is slowing down now. You hear that there's about one to two seconds between pops, so I'm going to take it off the heat. I'm just going to let it sit there for a second. One of the other benefits about popping your own popcorn at home rather than buying the microwave variety, in addition to the health benefits of course, is the price. If you buy a box of microwave popcorn, you get what, 6 to 12 bags in a box? And they probably cost you anywhere $3.99, $3.99, or up from there. This, I got this entire container, it came in a bag and I've made several batches out of it already, which was probably about 3 pounds for $3. And this was the organic version from Whole Foods, so you know that that's going to be um, a little bit more expensive than what you'd find in your traditional grocery store. So now, we can take the lid off, Now we'll be steam on the top, so be careful with that. And you see, ooh, I've got a guy escaping. Let me get some pot holders. I'm going to shake it around. You see how much volume you get out of one half cup of corn? So that was one, 120 um, grams of, pop, of unpopped corn. So now, what I like to do is add some flavorings. You can definitely add some melted butter to get it that to give it the traditional flavor. But you know what? This is so much more flavor than the microwave variety just on its own that I don't even put microwave melted butter on top. I use herbs and spices. So, depending on what you like, you have a lot of options. Oh my goodness, it's, it's gone crazy over there. Just watch out for escaping kernels. Um, one of my favorites is to put a little bit of cayenne pepper with a little bit of garlic salt. I love that. You can of course put definitely just regular salt. Some other interesting ideas would be a southwestern flavor with some taco seasoning. You have all the spices that you need right in there already. Um, well, we have that se separately mixed here. You could put a little bit of smoked paprika, some pimento. You could like, if you like caramel corn, you might like to put some cinnamon sugar on top. You could go with an Asian flavor with a little bit of um, poppy seeds, sesame seed, or ground ginger. Doing the poppy seeds and the sesame seeds definitely gives it an addition to nutritional burst because you have the um, those positive omega-3 fats in the, uh, in the seeds. So, that's homemade popcorn. It's not as hard as you think it might be. It's a lot cheaper. It's a lot healthier, too.